Here are seven signs to know you are being attacked by a demon. Welcome to Divine Revelations channel. My name is Sally. Demons as we know have no human body so they enter into people who are not saved and manipulate them to torment the children of God. These people they possess are all around us at work, at school, in church, the marketplaces and so on. Hold on to your seats and let's see the first sign of demonic possessed attacks. If you are new to this channel please consider subscribing, click the notification bell so you are the first to know when we post a new divine revelation for you. The first sign is that demonic possessed people will always want to push you to anger so as to make you look bad in front of others and as for the demon, so you can sin against God. This new girl is getting all the commendation from the management. What's so special about her anyway? Look at how she goes around as if she is the owner of this ministry. Dressing corporate, wearing high-heeled shoes. <laughs> as if we who have been here before her are all stupid. She is always talking about new ways of doing everything. Things we have been doing without any complaints now the management is saying we should do it a different way for so-called better results. I hate her. Stupid girl. I wish she can be sacked and become unemployed or even die. I used to be the center of attention until she came. Diana, it's not enough to just hate her. Destroy her. Make her uncomfortable in this office. Push her to anger. When she is angry she will make mistakes at work and it will make people believe she is incompetent. Then you step in and save the day. You can make her so angry that she will say what she never planned to say and you accuse her of being disrespectful. Turn it around against her. Yes do it now. Now. See her coming. Chelsea. The calls you make in your cubicle really distracts me from my work. Your handbag also blocks my view. You are not the first one to work in a cubicle with other colleagues. You are always making me uncomfortable since you came. Hum, I don't understand what you mean. The calls I make are official and my voice is definitely not loud. I leave my bag at the employee's locker room. Why these accusations? Are you saying I'm lying? So you want to insult me so early in the morning you stupid idiot? We may occupy the same position, but I'm definitely not your mate. Mrs. Diana that's enough. I've respected you enough madam. When did I insult you? Please excuse me, I have work to do. Can you imagine the audacity? I am reporting you to the director for verbal assaulting me. Get out of my way. Good morning Ms. Chelsea. You are hereby suspended for two weeks for verbally assaulting your colleague Mrs. Diana at the workstation area. What? How can this happen sir? I did not do anything to her. I deserve some fair hearing at least sir. I am so sorry but this has been decided by the director. The report was taken to his desk and Mrs. Diana is related to his wife so her complaints were taken seriously. Number two sign is that demonic people will want to ruin your relationship with God. Arlene is a university undergraduate from a very poor family. She is a dedicated Christian and unlike other students has kept herself pure as a virgin staying away from sexual immorality. She has challenges paying her school fees and asks her roommate Sharon for help. Hey Sharon. What's up? I have been looking all over for you. Yes Arlene what is it? Am I missing? Why are you looking for me? Well, you know Arlene, it's about the money I asked you to lend me. I need to pay my fees really soon else I would have to drop out of school. Sharon, now is your chance. Now is the time to destroy her. The little Miss Holy Girl. She keeps her virginity for her future husband while you lost yours long ago because your friend lured you into fornication. You can't use your body to make your own money and give it to her for free. She has to give something precious too. After all nothing goes for nothing. Arlene darling I almost forgot. Of course I can help you. In fact, 
You can get the money today. Oh my goodness. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Sharon my friend. You are so kind. So, where is it? Arlene. Come let me introduce you to my big daddy in school. He is a very kind man. He will take care of you. I already told him to meet us up here today. I'm just one night with him is enough. Anything you ask for is done for you. You know he has been asking to meet you for a long time. Because of your decision to keep your body, you refused. He is still persistent. Sharon please you know my stand on this. I cannot do it. Please help me. Nothing goes for nothing Arlene. I cannot use my body to get money and give it to you free of charge. You need to work for yours. See you later. Okay okay Sharon. I will do it. Arlene joined Sharon and soon caught a deadly sexually transmitted disease. She died a year later. While Sharon who introduced her into this life is still alive and kicking. Living her best life as a graduate. Once the devil has gotten a believer down, he would waste no time in taking their life so they do not end up repenting and go to heaven. He would leave his messengers most of the time to keep roaming free for a long time without bearing the consequences of their wickedness so that they can bring more of God's children to hell. Many believers are like Arlene. What relationship does light have with darkness? Should Sharon be her last hope for assistance? What about her faith? How did she choose to exercise it as a believer? What do you think Arlene should have done? Let me know your opinion in the comment section below dear followers. Number 3 and number 4 sign is that demonic people will always be jealous of you even when they can clearly see that you are suffering. Also they feed on energy so they would do everything they can to drain you of your positive energy. Just like their father the demons do. Sometimes they drain you of your health, joy or happiness. Anyone who takes delight in making others suffer pain, push them to get overworked till they break down, make them constantly unhappy or push them to depression and yet shows no mercy is demonic and you should be careful around them and pray them out of your life. This food is so delicious darling. I did a new recipe you made? No. Melody, my late sister's daughter made dinner today. I that why you finished the food. Where is that silly girl? Melody, Melody, come take away these dishes now. That girl thinks she can cook and impress my husband in this house. She is always moving around and working with so much joy. What is she even happy about? Who knows if she even killed her mother? Show off. Charity make her suffer. Why should she be happier than you in this house? Imagine, your husband even complimented her cooking. When did that start? Soon she will take over your husband's heart. As for your husband, show him you are the woman of this house. Do not give him any breathing space. Else, you will be kicked out. Darling, why do you look so upset? Come here let me hug you. Please stay away. I'm tired. You have to sleep on the sofa today. We cannot sleep together tonight. So you now prefer Melody to me right? No, not at all. I never said so. You didn't have to. Your action says it all. That silly mosquito of a girl is singing again in my kitchen. What's wrong with Melody? Always smiling. For what? Just like my dead sister. Miss Show Off. So called Nightingale voice. I'd wipe that happiness off her face immediately. Rubbish. Melody. Melody. Hey Melody. Come here now. Good afternoon Ma. Is everything okay? You sound a bit upset from your voice Ma. It's your dead mother in the grave whom you killed that is not okay, you silly thing. Are you planning to finish all the food in the kitchen? Why are you still here? Ma, I didn't kill my mother. I never had the chance to meet her because she died while having me when I was just a baby. Will you stop shedding those crocodile tears else I'd slap your face? Why is the meat in my pot now 16 pieces left not 18 pieces? I have been here trying to make dinner, cleaning the kitchen and prepping the items for breakfast tomorrow. I didn't take any meat from the pot. Liar, liar, no dinner for you today. 
Tomorrow use the firewood to cook outside. Stop wasting my gas. That food must be ready pronto before 6.30 a.m. for my children. Do you hear me? Yes, ma. I will do that, ma. Some believers are in unfortunate situations like Melody. Melody has a great destiny and due to this the devil caused the untimely death of her mother so she can be alone and fall into the wrong hands. She is meant to be pushed into severe frustration so she would live a sinful life and her destiny destroyed. When the frustration becomes too much, Melody runs away from her auntie, Charity's house. What happens next and how does she escape the devil's plan? How also does Arlene handle the demonic possessed Diana in her office and succeed? Let me know your opinion in the comment section below. Find out in part 2 of this series of 7 signs to know you are beings attacked by a demon.